Hey everyone, what's up? So today when you guys are watching it, it is my 26th birthday. But in real time, I'll actually be on the beach with my best friend Shauna in Texas and I'm so excited. Um, but I wanted to make this video because I've seen other YouTubers do it and it looks really fun and kind of like just like a little memento of stuff I can look back on um, in my YouTube and be like, huh, I wonder what else I've learned. So on YouTubers' birthdays, they've been doing the year that they're turning, that's how many things they've learned, that they're going to say they learned, um, in life. And so I am turning 26 today. For you guys and uh, I just wanted to share 26 things that I've learned throughout my life so far that I think are important to share some are funny I do apologize I give zero F's about how I look today there's no makeup I just got a tan and like my face I look like scar I don't, I don't mean like a scar face I don't I don't even know I don't watch those type of movies so but uh, I guess, you know, learning when you're 26, you just stop caring what other people think about you. So, this is a super real video, it's my birthday, I can cry if I want to, I can put makeup on if I want to, I can just do whatever I want to. Definitely if you haven't already, uh, follow me on my Instagram and my Snapchat because especially at this moment, I'm going to be uploading a crap ton of really cool pictures from the beach, in my vacation, and it's going to be awesome. Alright. First one that I wanted to talk about was, you always hear it, but always be kind to everyone you meet. You don't know other people's stories, you don't know what's going on in their life, so just be a kind person. It's pretty much self-explanatory, but I've learned that a lot recently, just to be a kind person to everyone. Do not put aluminum foil in the microwave. So real quick, my very first job when I was 15, I was working at a Cinemark movie theater, and I was hungry, and I put aluminum foil in the microwave, hit go, and almost burned down the entire place. Like, it's a little exaggerated, but a fire did light in the microwave, so learn from my stupid 15-year-old mistake. <laughs> uh, another one that I've learned is just because you do care and love someone doesn't mean they're actually healthy or should be in your life, and I believe that in relationships and friendships and family, if someone is unhealthy and not good for you and they bring your mental status down, you need to push them out of your life. No matter how much you love them, it doesn't mean they're going to be good for you. Have a freaking savings account for your animals, especially when your pug decides she wants to eat almost a 27 pound bag of food, not even exaggerating, and it's a $900 hospitalization fee because she pigged out on dog food and almost killed herself. Just have that backup. <laughs> this is a big one for me, uh, following through with your words and your commitments. Do not tell people or post stuff or say you're going to do something and not follow through. I started this YouTube account and I promised myself that once a week I'm going to get a video out no matter what. And I have literally, it's, kind of, it's a small thing, but it's kind of been changing my life. So just follow your word. Trust me, you'll feel better about yourself more people will trust you, and it's just gonna be better overall. Gluten-free does not mean healthy. Remember, I don't know if you guys have seen down below in my About Me, I say I've been 200 pounds. Well, when I moved out, when I was 18 years old, I did not know gluten-free food, all gluten-free wasn't healthy because it's kind of, you know, people are like, oh, gluten-free, healthy, it must be good for you. It's not good for you, I blew up. Um, gluten-free breads, gluten-free starches, they're made out of like, white bleach stuff and like just whole grains and regular wheat and that kind of stuff is actually portioned out right a better diet for you than getting on the gluten-free train now you know carb free and that kind of stuff to eliminate some gluten you know depending on your diet could be good for you but do not get in the mental status that gluten-free pasta gluten-free cookies gluten-free uh pretzels gluten-free this gluten-free that oh well that's a healthier decision it's not and i first experience know that you can still blow up on gluten-free food. <laughs> Travel as much as you can. Like, as much as you can. I am currently working and I have my savings account and it goes to traveling because traveling gives you an amazing life experience, different life perspectives. Every time I go on a vacation and I come back home, I feel like a changed person. I've learned a lot about myself, about other people, about the world. 
and it's just this amazing experience that I just can't get enough of and I do believe that yes you should save up for your retirement fund but you should also experience life and travel when you're young. Having a skincare routine is actually really important. I actually never barely washed my face. I would use those Neutrogena makeup wipes and it's just really not healthy for you. So make sure you're washing your face because it's gross if you don't and you're going to mess up your future face. <laughs> you have to be your own cheerleader. Don't expect anyone to give you motivation on anything in life. You have to keep yourself happy. You have to keep yourself on top of yourself. Only you can change yourself and make yourself better or make yourself happy or even make yourself sad. It's all on you. So what I do and what I've learned and I love is I stick post-it notes and sticky notes all over my house. And I say, smile, you're gonna kill it today. Different things to be a cheerleader and having that positive literally atmosphere even though you wrote it it's just gonna lighten up your mood try it trust me read the post notes it's gonna help girls talking to you and guys too I guess you know I've been a bartender for a hot minute since I was 19 uh, do not fully date someone and commit to someone until you see them drunk just trust me every emotion is a choice this one my good friend Lauren uh, told me about when we were on a hike once and it literally stuck with me and it's Don't say sorry say thank you. So let's just use for example if I'm late for the gym with Melanie I get the gym late instead of being like oh my god so sorry so sorry so sorry instead of saying sorry and making it such a negative thing say Thank you so much for waiting Like just bring it to positivity. It's little things like that that's gonna help your mindset and just help other people the way they see things. Ooh, okay, trust your gut. I don't have to explain this, just trust me when I tell you trust your gut feeling. Trust your gut feeling. Don't let fear control your life. Most of the time our fears are literally nothing and they're lies. And go out and write a list of everything you're afraid of and go do it. I actually am trying to plan a trip to go swim with sharks because I have this weird, deathly fear of sharks. I also have arachnophobia and I actually went and I was a volunteer at the Desert Museum and I was in the, the spider room feeding them and watering them and it freaked me out but it's actually not that bad once you get over your fear. So attack your fears, fear is a lie most of the time. Bacon salt is a thing, like a real thing. You're welcome. Hang on to friendships that really matter and the people that love you for who you are and all of the little side bar buddies and people that just bring you down or don't really care about you, just discard them. You only should keep people around you that are there for you and are supporting you and helping you grow into a better person and likewise you helping them. It's not worth putting your time and effort into somebody that isn't good for you. Independence means that you have to kill the bugs. Or in my case, I don't like killing animals, so I grab a giant cake pan and slam it across the freaking wall to cover up this giant freaking spider I found and then scream the entire time trying to shove the freaking lid to save myself from a little spider. But, good news, the spider lived, threw it over the wall, he survived. Uh, but that's what independence means, and it sucks. <laughs> if you come into a lot of money, do not go and buy a sports car, unless you want a lot of speeding tickets. Like a lot. <laughs> when living a healthy lifestyle, nutrition and your diet trumps everything. Healthy food is a healthy mind. Healthy mind is a healthy body. If you are working out and you are not eating, but you're like, oh, I'm in the gym though, I'm great, blah, blah, blah. Your body's gonna actually start eating your muscle. So really you're doing negative things. So that's one way that your diet is more important. And then just try it. Try eating super clean food. Try eating very healthy and not eating your sugary stuff, your sodas, your desserts. 
Try cutting that out. You will start feeling more awake. You will get in a happier mood. You will have like way more energy and you'll just, just your brain stops becoming this foggy, ugh, I just feel like I just wanna lay on the couch. It's so weird, but literally what you put in your body is what you are, including your emotions and how you handle things. That is the biggest thing I've learned out of my whole fitness journey is that food, eating the right food trumps everything else. The key to success is fake it till you make it. Confidence is key. If you don't have confidence, just fake it. <laughs> Cause you'll make it, I promise. One I have recently learned is don't ever let money trump your happiness, especially at a job. If you are being mistreated at a job or very unhappy or just everything, even if the money is excellent, it's not worth your happiness, it's not worth your mental state, it's not worth, it's just not worth it. You will find money in another job or another place. Don't ever let money control how you live your life. Make sure you're texting the right person when you text, like when you might like a guy or, or something and you think that your friend texts you but it really wasn't your friend, it was that guy and then you just look like a goober. Just double check who you're texting before you hit send. Dreams without goals remain dreams. Stop saying no, start saying yes. S go and watch Yes Man, it's literally my life. There is always something positive out of every situation, out of every single day, out of every single moment in your life, you just have to find it. YOLO, it's true, it's stupid. Kids say it all the time, but YOLO, you only live once. Definitely learn that. Um, experiences with losing friends, experiences with losing family, you honestly only live once. So live your life, live it up, live it for you. Don't live your life for anyone else. If someone thinks that you should be going to school for this, if someone thinks that that's wrong for you to do that, if it's what you want to do, don't let anyone else write your freaking story. Live your life, you only get one, have fun with it, don't be a complete idiot and don't hurt other people in the making, but be you and be honest and true to yourself. So year 25 has been pretty freaking epic for me. I learned a lot of life lessons. I am so, so, so excited for this 26th year. I have this amazing feeling, I'm positive, I'm a happy person, I have so many friends and so many good people in my life. I'm just excited that I have you guys and I just want to say thank you for everyone that is watching and continues watching my videos. Um, I love you guys and I'm just super excited for this adventure of everything that I'm going on and I hope you guys stay and continue to follow it with me. Um, but I will see you guys next week and you'll see my Texas trip and all that fun stuff. So if you guys like this video, please give me a big thumbs up. Also, please don't forget to subscribe, hit that little button down there. And if you want to be notified when I make an awesome video, please click the little bell right here. Ding! You'll be notified. I completely almost forgot and I, yeah, need to tell you guys something. So as you guys, I don't know if you've seen it yet, on Facebook, you can choose an organization to give back. I set up an account for the Wounded Warrior Project and I would love for all of you guys even just to give a dollar, it will help their families, it will help them. Um, they literally give up their lives for us and so that we can live the lives that we live and be able to enjoy our freedom and I really, really believe that we can hit more than $500 which is my goal and I am going to be honestly matching every single $100 donation that goes into that fund. So make me broke for my birthday. I would love it because all that money is going to families and people that definitely need it and deserve it. And I just can't, I can't explain it more. Um, my Facebook is literally my name, Ashlyn Knope. I will, you can see on my YouTube channel, it's pretty much the same name. Um, it is public, you can go on there. Just a dollar will help, really anything will help. Even if I have 500 people that see this and only give 50 cents, it's still something. So if you're gonna do anything special today, 
just think about them and so um that's it though so i'm gonna go probably still be drunk right now on my birthday and have a blast on the beach love you guys <laughs> see you next week bye um yeah overall what i've learned just don't give a crap what other people think about you what have i learned i mean there's lots of stuff i've learned riley what have you learned dogs are expensive but they're totally worth it they always want to be the star of the show hopefully i have 26 things said and recorded otherwise this is a big waste of time <laughs>